Mampak is Africa's largest packaging company with operations in South Africa, other African countries and Europe. It produces packaging products from metals, paper, plastics and glass. Mampak has a market cap of 22.6 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 16 and a dividend yield of 3.5%. And the share price hasn't done badly of late, has it, Viv? Oh, no. And this is actually something, even though we said the sector is unloved, we'll see that for a few of the stocks we're looking at today. We've seen a nice road recovery coming through. I mean, when it comes to packaging, as Paul mentioned, as people get richer, they want more packaging, etc. But also, they want more convenience. They want the smaller things, like, for instance, instead of having one bag that holds a kg, you have six bags that hold, you know, say, 200 grams, whatever it may be. Is NAMPAC just benefiting from a sector re-rating? Look, it was the largest player in this market and also the producer of key things like, you know, bottles for the beer industry and cans for Coca-Cola and so on. But it really fell off the bus badly in the 1990s and the 2000s. It was accused of serial bad management. It had a number of acquisitions in Europe which didn't go well. It was bloated and big and lazy when the foreign import factor started to become an issue. They had old capital equipment which they hadn't replaced. So just almost everything went wrong that could go wrong. They were the formation of some bits and pieces of industrial businesses. Remember, they took on the cola assets and so on and so forth. However, a new force came to bear. That's the CEO, Andrew Marshall, in the last couple of years. So and is this rapid rise in the share price directly attributable to Andrew Marshall? Yeah, I think so, because he sold off a number of underperforming businesses, which for years had, excuses had been made, and he refocused the business on Africa. You'll be aware of their big expansion in Angola, where they put in a can manufacturing plant, those kinds of things. Now it's being perceived as an Africa growth story. It's beginning to feel and smell like Tiger Brands with an African acquisition strategy, which is homegrown, as opposed to just, you know, sort of selling things there. The opportunity to get in now, even though it's run so fast and yeah. hard? Look, it has run fast and hard. But as Paul mentioned, you know, the, the growth, long-term growth opportunity here is there. Africa has a real issue with regards to, you know, food packaging, etc., and an incredibly large amount of actual food and other items actually going to waste because of spoilage, etc. And so a company like uh, Nampak will have a great advantage moving into these areas, giving new technologies, giving new advances. It's not just be good for the company, but good for the country as well. Paul, in mm. terms of Nampak, do you have exposure to we the do. stock, your we clients? Do. We bought some of these for our clients. I own some myself. Um, and really, it was a remarkable departure because it was so much a beached whale of little uh, consequence that you'll remember Bidvest tried to buy 20% of them, eventually decided it wasn't getting any traction at buying the rest of the business at the price they were looking for, which was about 14 Rand. So they went away. They offloaded those shares into the market. Remgro had a big stake in them as well, also decided at some point that it wasn't worth the trouble and bailed out. Exited Isn't that so. a bit concerning, though? Brian Joffe and his team and then Remgro well, moving out of the stock. Isn't that something we should follow? <laughs> Although well, the share price see, defies the odds. Well, but I mean, even at that time, I mean, 14 was where it was in about 2009, 2010. And since then, it's risen. But to be fair, lots of industrial businesses look better now than they did then. The RAND has been weakening, so that kind Which of... Which comes back to that sector re-rating I started at the beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah, so there's a kind of sense that if the economy is turning after the long and difficult travails of 2008, 2009, then industrial companies with the sufficient market cap are going to attract interest from global markets and blow global investors. And definitely there's been an increase in foreign ownership on the register of this company. Do you think we'll see some corporate action back in the fold for NAMPAC, perhaps Bidvest going back after it? Uh, I don't think Bidvest likes to pay too much and the price has risen quite a bit, so I wouldn't see that kind of issue coming into play here. Uh, so I wouldn't be looking at Bidvest particularly trying to buy back into the company. Right, so hot or not on NAMPAC? I like it. I think the story has got legs. You know you what they it, say. You own it, so you will like it. Yes, I didn't yes. expect anything different. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we do think about these things before we buy them. So yes, definitely for me, a company with the right sort of scale and positioning that's going to get more support. Hot. Yes, I, I like the packaging company, so I'm hot as well.